presentation will be started. Introduction. First, we will do the neurovascular assessment. How to check the neurovascular status of a patient with skin fraction. Okay, so our patient here has left femoral fracture, so he has this skin fraction. So we will do the neurovascular assessment. First, is to ask or to assess for the pain. So how do we know that the patient is in pain? We have to look into the uh, facial remains of the patient. Of course, he will verbalize that he is experiencing pain. So it's not normal that the patient is or will experience pain after the skin traction has been applied. Second, we have to um, check for the pulse, okay? So you have to palpate the fetal pulse, okay? And then compare it with the unaffected extremity. So if this is decreased, okay? As you compare it with the unaffected extremity, then there is something wrong with the affected extremity with the cast. Another parameter also is to um, check for anesthesia. Okay, so you have to ask the patient if he has this numbness or tingling sensation or pain or needle sensation. So the patient will verbalize that he has this numbness. Another parameter would be the movement or mobility. So you have to ask the patient to move his toes. So he should be able to move the toes. So if there is a problem after you have attached the skin fraction, maybe there is nerve damage and you will not be able to move the toes. And the last parameter that we will be looking at is the temperature also. So you have to palpate and and touch, okay, the skin. Is it is it cool to touch or is it warm to touch? Compare it also to the other extremity. We also need to uh, hook or touch the patient to the pulse oximeter if he will not be able to palpate the fetal pulse. So as we will be able to assess the pulse of the affected extremity. Okay. So after we have done with this uh, parameters checked with the patient with this interaction, we will document okay our findings and record that immediately. Now we notice that the uh, patient retraction uh, we should make sure that the weight should be hanging free. Okay, so we are generally um, uh, we should make sure that the weight should not touch the, uh, the frame, it should not also touch the floor. So this is basically the principle that we should be watching, okay? And uh, also, the uh, traction should be parallel, it should be straight with the uh, affected extremity, with the body and of course with the trunk and the head. So we should make sure that the patient is aligned with the direction. Okay. So that would be all for the care of patient with skin infection.